<clears throat> hey everyone, it is Kelly, aka Jess, but I'm going to be keeping the name Callie for quite a little bit longer because I am utilizing the Kali energy within myself to essentially destroy parts of myself that are not true to me, that are what I picked up along the way, either programming, trauma, societal conditioning. So I'm still, I still have a deep need for Kali and this is a white peach. I will not eat on the video though, even though I want to. So tonight's video, I want to do a short little I want to tell you guys how I, one of the ways I do my full moon letting go ritual. So you can use the full moon for different things. Um, something that's really good to do on a full moon is let go of things that no longer are necessary, that no longer, you know, have room in your life. Because if you want to bring new things in, you have to let go of some of the old. So really think really have to think about what is no longer serving you in your life anymore. So this is just going to be a video about one way to do a full moon ritual to let go of things no longer needed in your life, okay? And there's there's two ways. Um, so I guess it's kind of two rituals, but the one is very simple, all right? You get yourself a bath. I told you that we can use water, all right, as a conduit to actually manifest creation, create things into our life, but we can also use water as a cleanse, as a release. So pretty much everything I said for the new moon water ritual, you would do the same, but with the intention of letting go. You know, you would want a candle, you would want your crystals, you would want to think upon things you want to let go of and then talk to the water you know like you would a friend and really collaborate with the water let her have everything that you're holding on to that you no longer want anymore and just let it flow down that drain with her she is glad to take it for you she's if you ask me i like to say the sun is our father and the water is our mother so do with that what you will but anyway okay for those of you who don't have a bath who don't like doing the bath who are like you know i want something different i want something more intense more physical then what you do is you get yourself a piece of paper okay you need a pen obviously you need a candle and two bowls okay one bowl is going to be you're going to fill it with water because water is the cleanse um, and the other bowl is going to be to burn your paper in, okay? So, what you do is you find yourself, oh, and also crystals. If you have any crystals, good crystals for letting go of things are some aquamarine, smoky quartz, um, malachite. Malachite is the mother of all healers' crystals. If you don't have some malachite and you're either a healer, wanting to be a healer, working on healing get yourself some malachite okay so and you know what i'll do a whole video on crystals because i love my crystals when you guys see my collection you'll be like oh my gosh so get yourself your crystals your paper your pen your candles and your two bowls one for burning one for water and it's got to be big enough to put your hands in okay so you then find yourself a nice, quiet space, okay? If you have some sage, you can go ahead and clear the space. Uh, I personally like to do my full moon rituals outside under the full moon, but it's not necessary because it's the energy, right? She can reach through your walls. So, But find yourself a nice, peaceful, quiet space that is sacred to you, all right? Anywhere anywhere you want. It doesn't matter. You can cleanse it. And if you don't have sage, the power of your brain or your mind is so powerful that all you have to do is say, I cleanse this space. 
And guess what? That space is cleansed because when you realize your own power, you'll understand. So with that said, you find yourself your sacred space, okay? Then you want to center yourself. You want to ground yourself. That's why being outside is so good because you put your feet on the earth, all right? If you're not outside, you can't do that. Take some deep breaths because breath, when we take over our breath, we are getting control back of our mind, right? Because we breathe on instinct. We breathe on, um, yeah, we, we don't have to think about breathing. We just breathe. So that's autopilot is what I, is what I call it. So when we take our breath back, we come to center. We come to ourselves. So if you can't get out there on the earth, put your feet on the ground, then go ahead and take some deep breaths, okay? And if you're outside, take some deep breaths too, all right? So we take some deep breaths. Then with your piece of paper, all right, you are going to write out, sorry about that, you are going to write out everything you want to let go of, all right? We're talking about emotions, emotions that you're holding within you that you want to let go of. Write it down. Thoughts, thoughts you keep having that are destructive, that make you feel guilty, that make you feel shameful, that, that upset you. Write those thoughts down, okay? Habits, behaviors, personality traits, habits, things that you do that you know is holding you back in life, write it down, okay? Personality traits that we've picked up from programming or anything, are you a little spoiled, are you a little selfish, write it down, okay? Anything that no longer serves who you want to be, imagine you five years from now, okay? Imagine the life you want. And anything that is you now that doesn't fit into that picture, write it down. Let it all go. People, all right? Everything. Let it all go. Write it down, okay? Um, so after you write it down, you're going to take that little piece. You're going to take, take your piece of paper, all right? You're going to make four folds away from you counterclockwise, okay? I'll maybe do a more in-depth video where I actually show you guys, but for those of you who are good at listening and understanding, fold away from you, okay? Clockwise. So fold, turn. Flip, counterclockwise, I'm sorry. Fold, turn, fold, turn, fold, okay? And then... The fold is just symbolic for, okay, I'm closing this chapter, I'm letting go. And then you're going to take that piece of paper with your candle. Your candle is already lit. For those of you who don't know, your candle, you light it right at the beginning. It's going to be burning the whole time because it's a cleanser. It's a transformer. We want that candle lit, okay? So you're going to take your paper, put it in the candle, and hold it over your bowl, all right? Don't catch your house on fire. You're going to set the piece of paper on fire, but over your bowl, okay? And just watch it burn and really think about it and feel it out, okay? And say, I am letting these things go. Use your voice. Use your power of vibration. I say I let them go, and so they are gone, okay? Anything that you want to say, let it come from your heart. No one, you know, sure you can go Google things to say to let go, whatever floats your boat, all right? And then you're going to, after you do that, you're going to put your hands in the water, wash, wash it all away, let it cleanse you, and then you're going to sit there, all right? You're going to sit there and you're going to think about what you've just done, and if you have some thoughts, get yourself a journal, journal these thoughts. I'm going to do a video telling you guys the importance of journaling, why it's so helpful, but yeah, write down anything that comes. So... I hope that was helpful. Um, that's just one of many different types of full moon rituals. Do whatever feels good for you. Do whatever you feel called to do, okay? But that is going to wrap it up for me tonight. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for everyone who's watching the videos. If you like the video, like the video. If you want to comment, go ahead. Let's talk. Share the video if you think someone can benefit. And last but not least, subscribe.